Hello Kito, how are you? This is one second with Pona Shadatta. Welcome back to my channel, Splendid Kittos. So kids, how are you all? Today, once again, I am going to discuss you another important topic in our English language. What is that? This is the silent letter in English language. You know, uh, in our English language, this language is right. So, whenever we are going to talk or whenever we are writing, in that case, the letter is present there in that particular word. But when we are going to talk, sometimes we are not pronouncing the particular letter. So, which letter we are not pronouncing is called as a silent letter. So, today... I will discuss you with this matter. So, let's get started. So, this is my board and here I have written some of the examples which I now, I will discuss you how you will pronounce in the case of silent P, silent T, silent H and silent K. Because today I will discuss you only the four letters and remaining letters I will show you accordingly in my next episode, okay? So, let's get started. See, silent B. In the case of silent B, I have written some of the words. The first word is bomb. B-O-M-B, bomb. But when I am pronouncing, how I am pronouncing? Bomb. C-L-I-M-B, climb. C-O-M-B, comb. D E B T Dead no date D U M B Dam T H U M B Thumb We are not telling thumb no thumb P L U M B here plumber that means whenever letter B is sitting just after the letter A in that case we are not pronouncing letter B. In that case, letter B is the silent. So, we have to pronounce up to M. So, bone, climb, comb. But this case, whenever the letter B is present just before the letter T, in that case, we are not pronouncing letter B. So, letter B is silent in that case. Like D-E-B-T. Debt. We are telling debt. No. We are telling date. Next one is some of, some of the uh, other examples also. I have written there doubtful. D-O-U-B-T. Doubt. Doubtful. No. Doubtful. S-U-B-T-A-E. Subtle, S U B T A, subtle. We are not telling subtle, subtle. So, this is the main rules whenever we are going to tell silent B. That means after A, B is silent and before T, B is silent. Next one is silent T. You know, in the case of silent T, some of the letters. If they are sitting together, in that case we can tell silent C, silent T is present like S T E N stain, F T E N fain, S T A. If in the letter, in the particular words, these letters are sitting together, in that case we are not pronouncing letter T. In that case, silent T should be applicable. For particular words. Like me give you the example. C-A-S-T-A-N. Castle? No. Castle. C-H-I-R-S-T-N-S. Christmas. Christmas? No. Christmas. F-A-S-T-E-N. Fasten. H-U-S-T-A-D. Hustle. L-I-S-T-E-N. Listen. O-F-T-E-N. Often. Right? So all the words are present here. Another the just another uh, words are there. Butcher. B-U-T-C-H-E. Butcher. We are telling no. Butcher. So T is the silent. Next one is silent H. See, first word is ghost. G-H-O-S-E. Ghost. We are telling ghost. Ghost. No. Ghost. 
honest h o n e s t honest h o u our so honest we are telling no how are we are telling do you remember please that previous i have made one video for you regarding the articles a and m and the so in the in that case i have already discussed you that h is the cause we know that n is just sitting before the vowel but uh, the, in the case of consonant we are writing letter a right so honest h is a consonant but the h is a silent h and h is not pronouncing we are pronouncing honest so o is the vowel so if we were the if we are writing honest we are writing article n not a our and our so just i'm giving just i just want to tell you to memorize that my previous video now in, in see the not a, this this honest our h is the silent h but in all the time if h is the if h we are writing h in the beginning of the word in the, every time we are using the silent h rules no in the case of definitely see in our english language so many like so many words so many words are there sorry so many words are there and different sounds are there so in the case of history here happy h is a beginning of the word but the h is h letter is a beginning letter but in this case h is not pronouncing silent h we are not telling history no we are telling history here we are not telling air here air air is different word happy we are telling happy no happy that means in this case h is pronouncing in this words mechanic reading school now this is the second one what w h e t what you know when w is sitting in front of the h in that case silent h rules is applicable but here also exceptions are there see first let me give you examples silent h w h e t what what is your name we are telling where hat no what when h is silent whether why why h is silent but other words the exceptional words whose h is definitely we are telling whose we are not telling whose whose whosoever who whoever whole so this was in this was h is not silent h now the last one is silent k see when k is sitting just beginning of the word and after k n is there in that case silent k is applicable see if you see uh, the properly uh, that all the words k n k n so how we are pronouncing k n e k n e no ne k n e w new k n i a f naif k n i t neat k n o b knob k n o c k knock who is knocking on the door who is knocking no knock k n o w do you know me yes or no no do you know me no we are telling no so k is the silent knowledge knowledge we are telling like this no knowledge so k is the silent last one is knack k n a c k knack knack no knack so these are the words at examples of the silent p t h and k so remaining also clear w g u c k n p e t a n and s these are the other letters which i will discuss you on my next class so i think you like my today's video if you like give a big thumbs up and give so many sweet sweet comments i need comments good comments from you so that i can understand whether you like my channel whether you like my today's video or not and definitely stay safe take care bye bye until then 
Do practice this kind of photos at your home. Okay, bye-bye.